people thought this was going to be a partisan speech. It was going to be a fired up speech. He came forward with very, very uh, bipartisan, positive proposals. We saw bipartisan rhetoric yes. in order to cloak liberal policies. It was a powerful speech, and it was music uh, to my ears, and I hope to the American people. What I'm concerned about is he underplayed the enormity of the task before us, which is to confront a debt crisis. I think there's a lot of support in the Senate for raising the minimum wage, and we might even get some of our Republican colleagues to go along. I've never been a, a fan of that idea. I think it's inflationary. I, th I think Rubio helped himself a lot tonight. Nobody is going to say tomorrow that Marco Rubio screwed this up. Marco Rubio has okay. been billed as one of the future leaders of the party, but he looked last night as if he was running uh, to be the head of his Substance. fraternity. He he said, I think looking looking like he was running for college fraternity president. Marco Rubio did not respond to the president's speech. He responded to a completely different speech. He said that that the president believes that the free enterprise economy is the cause of our problems. I mean, that is... I mean, it's almost laughable. Who could have imagined that we might be hearing a State of the Union delivered by an African-American and a response delivered by a Latino? I just think that's a glorious moment.